might not be thinking about doing yard work right now, but there's a few things you can do to make sure your grass looks good in the spring. 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Nick Bannon has some last minute things you should do before you forget about your grass for the winter. Yeah, well, avoiding disease in your lawn can be as easy as making sure it's cut to the right length. You've probably cut your grass for the last time this year, or you're just about to. But if you've left it too long, you might want to cut it again. You should mow your lawn so that the grass blades are between two and a half and three inches in length. You don't want to leave that lawn, uh, the lawn length, the blades long because if there's a snowfall, those blades will fall on top of each other and have a matting effect, which could cause a snow mold. Keeping the grass shorter also makes it easier for leaves to blow off of your lawn. It's also important you get all the leaves you can off of your grass because if you get snow on top of leaves on top of your lawn, well, it can lead to mold. Once you've mowed your lawn, it's time to put your lawnmower away. At Acres Power Equipment in East Long Meadow, they see too many broken lawnmowers in the spring because the owners leave unstabilized gasoline in their lawnmower's gas tank over the winter. Put the stable in regardless, whether you have a half tank, three quarters of a tank, or full tank. If you don't want to run it for two hours or run it out, remove the fuel with a suction cup into your gas can and store it at that point. Unstabilized gasoline can separate and cause damage to your mower. You should also wash and dry the blades and store the lawnmower in a cool, dry place this winter. Now, if your lawnmower has a battery, it should also be removed before winter with some charge still left in it. Live in the studio, meteorologist Nick Bannon, 22 News.